Hey, what's up guys? Kenneth here from the LEGO Republic, coming back at you with another video. Today's video is reviewing the 60138 High Speed Chase from the LEGO City Theme and the LEGO City Police. So this should be a pretty fun video. I hope you guys do enjoy. Uh, if you do enjoy, make sure to smash the like for me and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel a lot. Let's dive right in here, starting with the minifigures. Alright guys, those are the instructions. There are three instruction windows as you can see uh, going from uh, right to left there uh, as one to three. So those, neither of them are the uh, box art picture that will be on the uh, beginning and end screen of this video. Uh, but they are some pretty cool custom uh, instruction uh, pictures so that's pretty cool to see. We'll get into our minifigures. So first up we have the criminal here and he looks uh, like criminal with that uh, basic torso and leg and hat. Uh, the face is different from some of the other criminals, which is nice to see, but you know, uh, he does look like a lot of other criminals, so that could potentially be a downside, but um, uh, maybe you like them all to look the same, so that's a good thing for you, I'm not sure. Uh, one thing I will say that I do not like about this minifigure is the uh, skin under his shirt, which is printed on there. It is not the same color as his face. I really think LEGO needs to do a better job about that if you're going with someone's skin color, whether it be green, white, black, yellow, I don't care, you name it, pink, whatever, just make sure that you keep that nice pink color going all the way uh, through, especially on the print. I just feel like Leo needs to do a better job about that, but uh, because you can see it's kind of a little off color from the actual yellow that is on his face. So that's a little unfortunate, however it's just sort of a thing that Lego does. There is no um, back face because he does have that hat that does show the lower half of his face. I mean, you could cover it up with a COVID mask, but actually you can't, so. Um, <laughs> Uh, then you see the little bad print on the bed, but nothing extremely fancy. So that's the criminal. Next up is this police officer, and he looks pretty good, especially with those nice sunglasses on his face print, which I really do like because uh, this is my first, uh, was my first police officer minifigure, and so I have a lot of nostalgia for it, even though it's only like two years old or whatever uh, at this point. But um, he does have the standard torso, but I just really love his, his glasses. They, they really stand out, at least to me. He has his handcuffs, nothing else in his hand, no taser or anything, so that's, that's okay, I guess. He just has that, those nice handcuffs, which he's, you know, gonna arrest the criminal with. Uh, then he has that, uh, regular back print again, and then nothing on the back of his face, because he has this cool hat, which if we pull it off, it looks like that, which is pretty cool. I do I do enjoy these uh, sheriff hats. I do think that they look very good. Great minifigure overall. Next up, we got the pilot, and she looks pretty nice. You can tell it is a she by her lipstick on her lips there. Uh, but she also has sunglasses, which is pretty cool, but they don't stand out as much as they do on the other officer that I just talked about. Uh, but... She does look pretty cool. It's cool because you get a, a regular police officer, a pilot police officer, and another dude that we're going to get to in a second officer. So that's pretty cool that you get all three in this set. But, you know, just a regular pilot's uh, torso print there, nothing fancy. She's got the motorcycle helmet on, and then the same thing in the back. So nothing cool, but if it was like me, your first police set to pick up, and you got one of each kind of officer, it's pretty cool. She also pilots the, you know, the helicopter, so that's cool. The next officer here in the last minifigure of this set, I don't really know what to call him because LEGO City Police uh, does not put names on their figures and they don't really have to because honestly, uh, unless it is from, well they did start doing named figures for the new police stuff, but uh, for the old police like this, uh, they, they, there's no need for them to put names on it because honestly it's not like Star Wars where there's specific characters, they're literally just random nameless police officers so I do kind of like that they don't put names on it but this dude looks so cool his hair and his face print oh man I just love this dude so much he's got a walkie-talkie in his hand there if you you know couldn't figure that out already and then he's got this really cool uh, torso print and I like to call him the FBI agent just because he looks like such on a higher level he's like he looks like he's on such a higher level than the rest of the uh, police officers but <laughs> that's just my opinion we turn him around you see that uh, 
print on the back, which looks pretty standard. And then if you uh, take off his hair, there is no back face because not a lot of Lego City Police do have back faces, but this dude just looks so cool. First up for the vehicles, first of three, we have this, uh, the criminal's car, which looks really good, super sleek, aerodynamic, everything, you name it, I wish I had this car in real life, it looks amazing, it does have this little spot for him to put the loot right here, and it has two $100 bills and two gold bars, and it is pretty nice because it is pretty tight in there, so, uh, sometimes even when you turn it upside down, they don't fall out, obviously, Two of them fell out, but the other two stayed in there because it is a pretty tight fit, and not all the time do they fall out, so that's actually pretty unique that they were able to uh, get that. And this has a feature, uh, which we're going to go into in a minute, but yeah, pretty cool looking car. Next up is the uh, police car, and it comes with this little fence, but it's like not that important, so we don't really care. Uh, but the police car does look pretty cool. It's got those stickers, although this this is a printed piece right here, but uh, it does have the sticker on the top saying number two. It's got the lights on the top as well, and then the little fin in the back says police as well, and a few stickers on the sides. And then the top actually pops off like this, and then you are able to seat your uh, police minifigure inside so that is pretty cool that you are able to do that but yes you're able to sit him in if i can get him in there we go and then this just pops on on the top and he fits in there like you would expect for a lego uh a lego set usually they're supposed to fit unless it's ucs ucs hoth where the wampa can't fit in his own cave but it does its job very well uh next up we have you know the the big thing itself of this set so did I mention that this set was $50, uh, or it might have been $45, but somewhere around the same uh, price as the Mobile Command Center. So you could either buy like the Mobile Command Center or this set if you had $50 to spend on Lego City and you wanted to spend it on police, of course. That's always the, uh, the catch, but uh, here is the bigger, bigger vehicle. Um, and obviously this is slightly different. It, you could say it's oversized. Uh, because there are a few others, other helicopters, like one with the police station, like this one here, uh, that are a bit smaller. It's just on whatever you prefer. Like, this one only holds one, but, well, this one can carry, like, five or something, if you really squeeze them in. But, yeah, if we take a look at the interior here, this just pops off like so. And then you've got the inside with a few controls, and also a control panel that is printed. If you take your pilot, you can seat her into the into the plane and you can actually take the joysticks and put them in her hands if you want to i've done one of them right there and then this just pops off as you would expect on the top and it looks pretty good then of course you can take your uh agent dude and sit him on the side there so that he can be riding and that looks pretty good obviously we've already seen this feature where it just goes around and there's nothing there's nothing fancy this is one of the older not older models, but kind of older, so you, if you want it to spin, you have to hit it yourself. It's not like the Jurassic World helicopter where it has a, a mechanism at the bottom that you can uh, do it. No, so it you have to do it yourself, but that makes it a little better because so, you have this open space in the middle. Otherwise, you would not have that. Uh, but there is a small clip over here with which I put a handcuff. In the set, you are supposed to put this walkie-talkie, but I kind of like it better in the dude's hand, so that's why I'm going to keep it. And then on the other side, there's another clip where I put that as well. Um, in the back, we do have a, a little fin here with this propeller, which is nice to see, uh, but nothing fancy. If we get up into the uh, inside of it, there is a little hole back in here, but I don't use it for anything because my fingers are too big. There is an open space in the back, but uh, it's not supposed to be used for anything, and that's fine. You can take a minifigure, however, and, you know, plop it uh inside if you lay it down a little bit so i know this is probably the wrong thing but i just put the robber in there so you could you can do that with a minifigure and you can probably fit two in there if you are really you know trying really hard but the main thing that this helicopter can do is actually you know take out the car so <coughs> excuse me we're actually going to uh demonstrate that right now so one thing i failed to mention on the car i failed on purpose by the way was that it has this little uh this little like back of the seat piece sitting right here 
and this is actually for the hook to hook on it. So if we look, if we look at the uh, helicopter, it's got this uh, winch thing, and what you can do with this is you can either pull it out or winch it all the way out. It doesn't really matter, uh, but you can't, you can do it. And you can also clip, clip this dude onto it. So I, I believe this is what uh, the lego city intended for it to be was that he can clip himself on and like lower himself onto the car but what i like to do is he gets lowered on the car and he puts it in that little clip thing and then he can like jump off and his hand fell off too but you know what whatever and then the helicopter can pick up the car so that that's just a feature i don't know if lego meant to do it but that that's something that i really enjoyed playing uh, with this set back when I played with it a lot that's I feel like that is the main feature of the set even if it was not an intended feature just the fact that you can pull up a car and so there have been so many so many times where I've played with this set and just kind of you know taken the the criminal's car and just carried it to the police station with this uh with the with the helicopter, just carry the entire car to the police station where there's just police waiting to surround the thing and, you know, put him in jail because whatever he did, he deserves it. He probably robbed a bank, but I don't want to make any assumptions. But I'm just saying, he's got some gold and some money in there, but I don't really know what he did. It's kind of up to the kid to decide what he did. But anyway, pretty cool features there. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you did enjoy, make sure to punch the like and the subscribe. It does mean a lot to the channel. So uh, thank you guys in advance for doing that. Uh, make sure to check out more of my videos. There are more videos like this on Star Wars, all sorts of stuff. And you can check them out uh, on the playlist in two seconds. This is Kenneth from LEGO Republic. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.